Hi, this is Saburi Avinoza. Today I'm going to be going over my capstone project and um, go over the design process uh, with you guys. So um, first things first, we, in order to see what the, why would we design the sequential machine, um, it'll be very effective for uh, people who are sleeping and they just wanna have their battery to be charging. And secondly, it'll just have people use their devices a lot more often. That's why you want a battery that will uh, make sure that it doesn't destroy itself when you try and plug it in. Um, so, some assumptions I have assumed that the person will be charging the battery all the way. So, through all the states that I've designed. So, which means that they will actually the temperature will reach three times and it will lock during the test. So um, these are my state definitions. So at state zero, there will be no charging or overheating. State one, um, there, that'll be the first charge. At state two, the charging stops after the temperature is reached. And then at state three, we charge again. State four, the charging stops after the temperature has been reached. State five, the charging starts again. State six is when the lockdown happens. Um, so this is a state transition table to give you a better idea, but um, also some coronal maps for the equations which help me design the schematic. Um, so to explain how the entire circuit works, um, so we first start off with the state zero, which has no charge and um, we the one right here signifies that we would want to start charging the device and we would jump to this state so this state is the charging the vehicle the battery and um, once the temperature has been triggered which is the one right here we'll jump to the next state which is a no charge state so once the temperature cools down and goes back to zero so the, we go to state three and that state starts charging. Now, once that state um, keeps going and then one is triggered for temp, we would go to the no charging state and stay in there until the temp goes to zero. Once temp goes to zero, we move to the next state and that state starts charging. Uh, once that state um, cools down and temp goes back um, to one and it, the temperature is reached, then we will go into a lockdown state where we have gone three times on that um, that temperature go, going one uh, three times. So that's basically what the gist of that circuit does. Uh, this is what the schematic for it looks like. Um, and that was for the more design. And that's the design that I'm going to be doing the demonstration of. Also, here's also a MILI design for it, along with all the K-maps, the definition table, and the transition table for it. Um, also, the schematic design for the MILI design, and these are the simulations right here. So, uh, this is for the MORE design, and this is also for the MILI design. Um, so, how I determined uh, which design I would use was if the design was working, which uh, both of them were. So uh, anyway, both of these designs are very good designs that I would definitely use. Um, however, one of the main things that I also looked at is cost effectivity, which goes back to how many gates we're using and um, how that's actually going to be looking at when we're talking about production. And the more design actually used less gates than the Melly design. So uh, I would definitely choose the more design over the Melly design. And uh, readability, so if somebody was able to just like look at it and try and figure out what's going on, I think that the more design is a lot more readable than the Melly design that I have right here. So I'm definitely gonna go with the more design for choosing which design I'm gonna use to implement the battery uh, a monitoring service. Um, so 
to so which is the best way for curating? Yeah, so I went ahead and went with the more design. But um, yeah, for self-reflection, I don't know if I need to put this in the video, but yeah, pretty much uh, it's been a great time uh, working on this project. But other than that, that's about it for my demonstration video. Please, if you have any questions, let me know. But other than that, yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a good one.